Good morning, first grade Smarties, and happy Monday. So today for writing, we are still exploring the Korean Cinderella. And our writing today is kind of different and it's going to make us use our creativity. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to think outside the box for this one. So it says, instead of a straw sandal, because what does, what does Pear Blossom drop when she sees the magistrate? What falls off? Straw sandal, right? So instead of a straw sandal, come up with a new proof of identity and retell the story of Korean Cinderella. So remember the proof of identity in Cinderella stories is the object that the prince or the man uses to find the Cinderella character. This is this is the item of clothing or thing that helps the prince know that it is Cinderella. So in the Korean Cinderella, we know that the that pear blossom drops her sandal, right? So we need to think of another item that could be used as her proof of identity. What is something in the story or something that you see in the illustrations that you could use in retelling the story as her proof of identity? What is something that Pear Blossom has in the entire story? So I'm looking at this picture of Pear Blossom and I see a couple things that I could use. Maybe when she saw the magistrate, she could have dropped her basket. Do you think that would be a good proof of identity? Why or why not? Probably because a lot of people had similar baskets, right? What is something else unique about Pear Blossom that we know she had since the beginning of the story? Think about what her mother used to put in her hair. Hmm. What did she use to wrap her hair in? Really pretty ribbons. Now we know that Omani, her stepmother, makes her wear this straw, this piece of straw. But our writing is asking us to come up with a new proof of identity. So what if the black ox also gave her a new ribbon? So I think that's going to be my proof of identity. Do you have to use the same one as me? Not at all. If you can come up with something, maybe the black ox left her a crown, or maybe the black ox left her a beautiful pair of earrings to help identify her. Now remember, this proof of identity is important to Cinderella characters because it helps the prince or the important male character find Cinderella. So it also tells us that we need to retell the story. So what is something that I can say as a sentence starter to know that something happened in the beginning? I can say in the beginning or once upon a time or first. So since this is a fairy tale, I'm going to use once upon a time as my sentence starter. Now, when I start a new sentence, what do I need to make sure to start with? Capital letter, you got it. Once upon a time. Now, here's the deal. This is our last week of doing writing together. So I wanna see you finish this sentence. So what happened at the beginning of the Korean Cinderella? Think back to the beginning. What do we know is the first important thing that happened? Her mother, once upon a time, Pear Blossom, had a mother that passed away, right? Or you could say once upon a time, Pear Blossom had an evil stepmother and stepsisters that made her work hard. 
that would be a good one. So I'm not going to fill this in because I want to see what you guys do. So here's our sentence starter. I'm going to make sure that I leave a period. What would be a good transition word for what happened after the beginning? I can say then or next. So I'm going to use then. What was the first, what was the first thing that Omani made Pear Blossom fix? She had to fix the, the broken jar, right? So I'm going to say then Omani made Pear Blossom Then Omani made Pear Blossom. Notice that the names start with what? Capital letter, because I'm talking about a person. Great job. I want you to finish that sentence. What is the first thing that Omani made Pear Blossom do? So I'm going to leave some space for that. I'm going to use another transition word to tell me what happened after. I'm going to say next. What was the second? What was the second challenge that Pear Blossom had? Let's go back. Think back. What was the second thing? I'm going to say sparrows next. Sparrows. What did the sparrows do? They helped her with the rice, right? Next, sparrows helped. Ooh, that ED tells me it happened in the past. Helped pear blossom. Blink. Make sure I end with punctuation. Next, sparrows helped pear blossom. Good job. All right. Now, here is where the big problem comes, right? Because Omani doesn't let pear blossom come to the festival. But who helps her get there? Black ox. Okay. So then, next. Hmm. I'm going to say last because this was the last really big challenge. I'm going to say last. The black ox helped pear blossom. He helped her with what? Do you remember what it was called? Helped her with the rice patties, right? So he helped her with the rice patties. She, so after he helped her with the rice patties, who did she see? She saw the magistrate, right? So we could say last, the black, Ox helped Pear Blossom blank and Pear Blossom. Now, remember, this is where your proof of identity comes in. So, remember, I said I'm going to say she dropped her ribbon. Okay, and Pear Blossom lost her ribbon. 
for her hair. Now here's where the ending comes in, right? Who find, let's say in the story, we know that the magistrate takes her straw sandal and finds her. Maybe we could say that finally a magistrate finds hair blossom without her ribbon and then what does he do? He thought she was beautiful, right? He thought that she was the most beautiful woman there. So what does he do? Marries her, right? So we say, finally, this is a lot of writing because we're retelling the story. It says, finally, a magistrate finds Pear Blossom without her ribbon and then marries her. Now, marries this one's kind of tricky because marry, like if I marry someone, it's M-A-R-R-Y. But if I, oh, I actually need to make sure this is in the past. So I'm going to make it E-D. I'm going to change that. And married her. So we take that Y away and added I-E-D. So. Notice that I did not fill this in all the way because you guys are first grade smarties, almost second grade smarties. So I want to see what you come up with for your retelling of the story. Remember to use those transition words and come up with your new proof of identity. Miss Mason used a ribbon instead of the straw sandal. So what are you going to use for the proof of identity? All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to start your sentences with uppercase letters. Use finger spaces. Have your sentences make sense. And with punctuation and keep roaring. All right, guys, have a roaring Monday. And I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.